Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Peter's Living Room. Glad you could join us tonight. Um, as you probably read in your emails and on the station, tonight's going to be uh, it's about movies. We've got uh, the cast and the director of a new movie that's going to be launched, premiered. What would you call it? Uh, uh, shot out of a cannon. Shot That'd out be, of a cannon? Yeah, okay. Crowd work. Uh, on June twentieth, uh, on June eighteenth, over at the uh, Florida Supercon. Yeah. All right, and we are going to have Bob Golub calling in for a quick little interview. Who's got a movie coming out on April twentieth? That's why I got the twentieth. And uh, so it's about movies tonight, and I want to welcome you. Um, we have here Kurt Donath. Yes, pronounced it right. Yes, you did. I have a habit of screwing up last night. <laughs> uh, who is the director, co-producer, writer? Right. You like the Woody Allen? You do everything. Um, I, I don't really do the acting. I I will come in for a cameo, but yeah. I don't do the, the entire insecurity pop, pill popping. Well, I got to tell you, yeah. when I asked you beforehand if you had your cameo like Hitchcock, yeah, <laughs> the first time I saw Hitchcock do that. I thought that was the greatest thing. That that's his trademark. Wh which cameo did you see for the first time? Um, I think it was in Suspicion. Okay. Where I believe he walked in front of a, a, can, a cab, like in the 40s. That was it. He just walked across the street. My, my favorite was uh, North by Northwest, where he's about to get on a bus and he gets locked off. And yeah. He, he can't take the bus. Uh, well, you didn't ask me my favorite. You asked me the first one. Oh, okay. So, but um, I think, you know, every every director has to have their little trademark to their movies. Anyway, enough about Hitchcock. Oh, thank you, sir. We also have Darlene Dingus, who, I said it right? Yes. All right. <laughs> who plays Lucky Streak, and I should mention the name of the movie yes. is Lucky Streak and the Crime Fighters. New superhero, everybody. Move over Batman, move <laughs> over Spider-Man, move over Wonder Woman. We've got Lucky Streak coming out soon, right? Yes. All right. Um, also in the studio, we've got Jan Vanderbon. That's me. And you play the her boyfriend. No, I'm I'm uh, the boyfriend of um, blue, comic. Uh, blue comic. Blue <laughs> comic. <laughs> it's it's been a little while since I've spent time with her. You know, I, sometimes I don't remember their names. You know? Uh huh. <laughs> Too many girlfriends. Huh? Well, <laughs> you got to take real separate reality in the uh, the film. Exactly. Uh huh. So, All right. So uh, the one in real life, you don't call her. I'm a come here. No, no, no. And she doesn't wear the costume. Either. Oh, well, you got to work on that, right? <laughs> All right. Also, we have Tom Lehman. That's it. And you're the bad guy. That's right. I am Doctor Darius Dragon. All right. The evil mastermind. All right. to destroy the world. <laughs> and, you know, looking at you, it wasn't that. I, I bet you he walked in the room and you said, that, that's, <laughs> that's the dragon. Well, it's like um, me, Tom, and Jan uh, with Corey um, yeah. that edited it. Um, we'd worked on a project before. We had all met up to do a 48-hour project in Miami. And... Um, he was he wasn't initially supposed was that to be killer the, deal. It was killer deal, and he wasn't supposed to be the bad guy then. And as we were shooting it, we uh, the bad guy didn't show up, and so we all told right. Tom that uh -huh. he had to be the bad guy, and uh, he was awesome as that. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to make another movie, and I'd like you to be the bad guy in this one. Well, the great thing about acting, well, one, it's acting. You get the chance to do something that you don't do, and. your normal life. Now, I don't know if you are not <laughs> evil in your real life. But the beauty of it is... They never proved anything. <laughs> right. Never convicted, huh? Convict? No, not convicted. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard of the Lehman Brothers, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Kurt, why don't you give us a little background? I know your company, you know, is the Aberdeen Soldier. Mm -hmm. um, well, I, I just, I got out of um, film school uh, about in 2002. And so for a year I was working... Um, uh, as a group sales for for a playhouse, and um, just absolutely hated the job. Loved the people, but hated the job, and just realized. Keep talking. If I'm uh, if I'm going to uh, use the you know if, if I'm going to use the the film school at all, I should just go and be in business for myself and and try to make my own films. 
And uh, I just kind of fell into meeting the right people. And, okay. uh, you know, here I am now with Corey, with, Corey, with Tom, and Jan, and um, uh, I'm really blessed to be working with them. Uh, to do with a project like this where you have zero budget. Yeah. And it's just um, four so guys out of sheer will making a film. So we pretty much financed on the credit cards. And, yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> please just give my people some food. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, for, for these guys to be a part of it for like two years with me and to, you know, just, you know, <laughs> I, I just can't thank them enough. It's, it's really absolutely like a crazy ride. All right, so it wasn't literally like eating, sleeping together, and working together, or was it? <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> but it was like we it, could take sleeping out of the right, equation, right. but you know what I mean. It was hours of enjoyment. Yeah, yeah. But, okay. but but yeah, it was like I every, never I never slept with them. It was like two <laughs> years of weekends. Yeah, yeah, it was two years of weekends. <laughs> so it was every weekend was and a yeah. couple yeah. weeknights. Yeah. All right, what? How did you come up with this idea? Well, for me, it was just um, I'm watching uh, all these uh, terrific shows like Heroes and terrific movies like X-Men series, mm -hmm. and nobody's wearing tights. And I'm like, you know, I grew up you know, watching Batman and Superman. I'm like, well, where, where are all the tights? And I just really wanted to bring that back. And uh, for me, another real big issue I had, um, just being a comic book connoisseur, yeah. is that people just kind of catered to make movies – to, to look like movies. Right. And I was like, you know, if I'm going to do a comic book movie, I want it to look more like a comic book. So okay. that, was, that was where that really came from. Okay. Well, needless to say, I haven't seen, you know, the movie yet. I did catch uh, you were on YouTube. Yeah. And on the website, which we're going to give out in a moment. Um, I thought one thing that you did was partially genius. I mean, you were right on track making this movie as a feature and a serial. Mm -hmm. um, nowadays, I, I know a few producers out there from your old stomping grounds that are doing um, almost like a serial, a, a seven, eight, ten-minute segments that, you know, every couple of weeks they come out with the second, the third, the fourth installment. It's, uh, I mean, we're really, and we talked about this a little earlier, about yeah. how everyone's really pushing the content of, like, what you can get on a phone. Right. Um, because everyone's just on the road, or, or, and, and, you know, it's just the simplest thing that you do is you're bored, you've got five, ten minutes, you go on YouTube on your phone, mm -hmm. and you just look at videos. And um, there's just so much demand for content on that, and there's just not enough people that are watching television live anymore, so you're losing your advertisers. And your advertisers are rushing the internet. Right. Um, you just have to look at how people are selling anything now. Uh, uh, you can't just sell a truck by having a 30-second commercial ad and have it go up a mountain. Right. You know, any right. car can go up a mountain. You don't need. <laughs> you're not well, I, I've got a truck. car that could prove that to be a fallacy. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like yeah. there's there's more there's more um, uh, technology in a car now than there is metal. Right. Well, the computers on wheels. Yeah. And they're becoming bigger computers on wheels. 